A superlative cosmic event will take over our entire world. When Betelgeuse explodes, the night will be as bright as day, and even during the day, you will see a glistening light that will shine brighter than the entire galaxy for a few seconds. Betelgeuse, the brightest star in the constellation Orion, will soon go supernova, and it will be the first supernova visible from Earth since 1604, and you should know this urgently now. Betelgeuse, the brightest star in Orion. Every stargazer and astro friend knows Betelgeuse, the brightest star in the constellation Orion. Its intense red glow and enormous size make it an absolute highlight in the night sky. But what makes Betelgeuse really fascinating is its destiny to rise soon in a tremendous explosion. Betelgeuse has already ballooned into a red giant, and the scientific community is eagerly awaiting the final event. Currently, the star pulsates and flickers, which is a sign that dramatic changes are already taking place inside it. The enormous pulsation causes the star's brightness to fluctuate wildly. Most of the time, it's one of the brightest stars in the sky, and at times, it dims its light. Betelgeuse is more than 1,000 times larger than our sun and a giant of the galaxy. Imagine if we put Betelgeuse in the place of our sun, it would tower over the position of Jupiter. For a long time, researchers weren't sure when the giant star would move to its final phase. Then suddenly, it began to behave strangely, and astronomers around the world held their breath. Betelgeuse flickers ominously. What has astronomers worried is a dimming of Betelgeuse that was unlike any other light change observed before. In late 2019 and early 2020, the giant's luminosity diminished to such an extreme that some researchers thought the star had now used up its last fuel supplies. Never before have astronomers observed the explosion of a red giant in close proximity. Only far away in other galaxies have scientists been able to witness these events. But here, on our own doorstep in the Milky Way, the explosion of an ancient star is an exceptional situation. Scientists are eagerly anticipating the moment, and yet, there is also a queasy feeling associated with the event. Betelgeuse is comparatively close to us, but still far enough away that little impact of the explosion will be felt on Earth. What is certain is that the explosion will be eminently visible from Earth. An incredible stream of neutrinos will race through space and pass by us as well. Our measuring instruments will pick up the finest gravitational waves triggered by the explosion, but the debris that could cause great damage will stay far enough away. Betelgeuse's eclipsing event, nevertheless, sparked concern among scientists. They had grown accustomed to the giant old star, and somehow astronomers don't want to miss the sight. If Betelgeuse explodes, the object that researchers studied for decades will be gone within seconds. Only a neutron star or a black hole will remain. A superlative mass ejection. Betelgeuse's strange behavior led to numerous speculations and theories about the true cause of the eclipse. Based on data from the Hubble telescope, scientists finally found the answer. The data revealed that the star had ejected a massive dust cloud that partially hid its light from our view. So, the star had only shrouded itself, not changed its actual brightness. In February 2020, the darkness increased once again. Again, researchers searched Hubble's data, and again, evidence of the ejection of a dark cloud was found. What had happened? Betelgeuse's flickering is normal to some degree. Since we have known and intensively observed the star, its flickering and pulsing has followed a very precise cycle. Every 400 days, the giant dimmed its light, then lit up again. The event at the end of 2019 was named Great Dimming, after which Betelgeuse had lost its natural 400-day rhythm. For almost two centuries, this went on. Then, suddenly the star changed its behavior, and scientists were baffled. Where did the cloud come from, and what did it mean? After several weeks of intensive search, all the questions about the Great Dimming were solved. Betelgeuse had experienced something that scientists had not thought possible. In this remarkable astronomical event, the star ejected a tremendous amount of material into space, creating the dust clouds. Such behavior is highly unusual for a star of Betelgeuse's size and life stage. Coronal mass ejections, or CMEs for short, of our Sun are very similar events in which the Sun ejects large amounts of plasma and magnetized particle streams into space. 
Betelgeuse's mass ejections were similar to those of our Sun, yet quite different. CMEs are often associated with sunspots and magnetic activity on the Sun, while Betelgeuse's mass ejection was likely caused by internal processes within the star itself. Betelgeuse was not supposed to behave this way, and the event was unique in the observation of the star. When did Betelgeuse explode? Aside from the shock of the great dimming, researchers have calculated that the explosion is likely to last quite a while. Whether in 100 or 10,000 years, however, is not entirely clear. Scientists have simulated the life stages of stars dozens of times through observations and mathematical equations. Still, they can't be entirely sure. When Betelgeuse became strangely dimmer, some scientists already expected an unscheduled explosion. Hideyuki Seo, an astronomer at Tohoku University in Japan, also claims that previous calculations of Betelgeuse's expected lifetime were wrong. The star could be much further along in its evolution, and thus would be closer to the final stage than we thought. But how did the Japanese astronomer and his team come up with this? Again, it's the pulsations of the star. Betelgeuse's flickering shows how unstable the star already is. Tracking its brightness over the last century, astronomers have detected changes over periods of 2200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Normal is the 420-day up and down dimming. Every 2200 days, or about six years, Betelgeuse deviates from this rhythm and shows sharp changes in its brightness outside the normal cycle. Previously, the 420-day period was considered the primary, and the 2200-day period is correspondingly the secondary. However, the Japanese astronomer and his colleagues believe that the 2200-day cycle is the primary, and everything else represents deviations from this six-year rhythm. At first, this seems like splitting hairs to the layman, but in fact, astronomical and physical science yield different scenarios depending on which of the two cycles forms the basis. Consistent with its enormous larger size, and if the Japanese astronomer is correct, the star would have progressed even further in its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse are altogether more fast-moving than our Sun. Even when Betelgeuse was a normal star, it far surpassed our Sun. Like our Sun, it was initially a star that fused hydrogen into helium at its core. But Betelgeuse began to fuse helium to carbon much earlier than our Sun. Carbon, in turn, produces heavier elements, and lighter elements burn around the core, causing the star to expand like a hot plasma balloon. The Japanese researcher and his colleagues use computer simulations to observe stars from birth to old age, then calculate the pulsations they should see at each stage. They found that all four pulsations, from the 2200-day cycle to the 185-day cycle, can be compared to a breathing star in the late stages of carbon burning. When the carbon in the core is also exhausted, a core collapse is expected, leading to a supernova explosion in a few decades. Does this mean Betelgeuse is already running out of carbon? Although Seo and his team have presented convincing calculations, even the Japanese researchers cannot prove for sure that this is the case. So far, researchers assume that pulsation periods do not change much at, th at this late stage. Still, it is not possible to estimate exactly how much carbon is left in the star's core. Seo is certain, however, that the time to carbon depletion is less than a few hundred years. The new study led to some misunderstandings, and Seo's name was explained in connection with predictions of an imminent supernova. But the scientists set such misstatements straight, stressing that it did not say that Betelgeuse would explode tomorrow or in a few weeks. He had merely not concluded that the supernova was thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years away, but only a few hundred years. The 2200-day pulsation, if it is radial, creates another problem. Spectroscopic measurements show that the surface of the star expands and contracts at about 1.5 kilometers per second. If the star breathes at this rate over the 2200-day period, its total diameter would increase 180 sun sizes in each cycle and then decrease again. Even for a red giant like Betelgeuse, this is enormous. The rhythm of expansion does not fit the assumption that the 400-day period is the base. Rather, this rate of expansion argues that the 2200-day pulsation must serve as the measure of first rings. The swells occur from the time a star runs out of hydrogen, at which point it begins to fuse helium, 
causing the star to increase in circumference. When all the fuel has burned up and the remaining elements have become too heavy and unburnable, the core collapses under its own weight. Betelgeuse is estimated to be 8 million years old. Before Betelgeuse became a red giant, it was a main sequence star of type O. Stars of this type are very massive, hot, and luminous. They have temperatures above 30,000 Kelvin and are blue-white in color. Because of their enormous mass, they consume their nuclear fuel very quickly and therefore have short lifetimes compared to less massive stars. Our Sun, which is much smaller, is already 4.5 billion years old and probably only in its midlife. A Unique Event So exactly when Betelgeuse will explode remains a mystery. If it happens, we experience a spectacle that is to be seen in such a way only every few hundred years. Statistically, every 50 to 100 years, a star explodes in the Milky Way. The last supernova visible from Earth occurred in 1604. In the 1980s, measurements of gravitational waves showed that there was an explosion within the galaxy, but we could not see it. Betelgeuse is 500 to 700 light years from us, which is very close on cosmic scales. If the star explodes, it will shine brighter for a few moments than all the stars in the galaxy combined. At night, a bright flash would illuminate the Earth, and even during the day, you might see a glistening bright light. After the actual explosion, dust and debris would shine brightly for weeks. Where Betelgeuse once was would be a bright white spot of light. The light from the 1604 supernova was described by eyewitnesses as brighter than the moon. At the time, astronomers thought the event was the birth of a new star and called it a supernova. Don't miss the upcoming top videos and subscribe to our channel now.